tonight. This next story is what you call a wild ride. A neighborhood northeast of the airport in Hammond is still without power tonight after a semi truck barreled through, taking down several power lines. It also caused really significant damage to several homes. Paul Dudley reports from Hammond. Well, it seems almost hard to believe, but a semi truck came through this normally quiet neighborhood here in Hammond off of Green Acres, and it took down at least eight power poles and caused some serious damage. Tonight, neighbors are just happy that no one was hurt, while the Tangibo Sheriff's Office is still looking for the driver. Looks like a hurricane come through here uh, with all the poles and wires stretched across the road. Energy crews hard at work trying to get the lights back on for dozens in this Hammond neighborhood. A big mess after an 18-wheeler snagged utility lines yanking poles and wires. Just look at the damage to Nancy Brewer Hollis's house. I ran out of the front of the house and there were telephone poles everywhere and wires all over the ground and the whole my whole carport fell on top of my car. There was also damage to her bedroom. The semi-truck driver just took off. From what I can gather from my neighbor, he just kept, he tried to stop him and he just kept on going, just kept on going, he didn't stop. And so all the telephone poles were just dragging behind, just did so much damage. What was going through your mind during this oh, situation? I was terrified. Another pole slammed through this house and at least three more were ripped out from the backyard of Shane Foss. It was so crazy. Poles going down the road, wrapping around. You see all the damage to your neighbors. It was just, chaos. Folks around here are hopeful the driver will be caught. They need to find him. I'm sure they will. Neighbors here are still a bit shaken up, but glad everyone is all right. I know the house can be fixed and the car can be fixed, but it was really scary. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Entergy says power to the neighborhood should be fully restored by 4 a.m. And the truck in question is apparently a white day cab semi pulling a trailer. A day cab is kind of a smaller cab without a larger sleeping area. And if you know anything, you should call the Tangipahoe Sheriff's Office.